Hey, howdy and a big welcome back to Yak City Gaming, everybody. As once more today, we are going to pick up our NHL 16 Calgary Flames BGM mode here on the PS4. And guys, it is time to start year number six. Oh uh, yeah, so year number six, we had that nice, deep, game seven Stanley Cup playoff run. But we couldn't get it done, so now we ought to take a look. What has this team got? What do we look like? How are we going to get it done this year? And guys, I can tell you one thing. One thing about this team. We are going to get it done offensively. You look at this. Sean Monahan, Sam Bennett, down the middle. Both 93 overall. Just incredible. Five stars across the board for Sean Monahan. Then you've got the wingers to support. And finally... After all these years, and we had it in the playoffs, but it just didn't work quite well. We had Jorgen Jacobson, now a power forward, to play with Sean Monahan, a two-way forward. And Marcus Granlin, that anchor on the right side, a playmaker. That top line should just be raking in the points. Left, right, center, backwards, forwards, underground, overground, sky, air, whatever you want to say. That point, oh, they should just get it done all over the place. It'll be beautiful. So there we go. That is the offense. You know what the defense looks like. There were no changes back there. Everyone's still together. So let's get through the preseason and see what this team can do in six games of the preseason. Hopefully we don't get any injuries. And against Edmonton, oh, the amateur scout is going and you know what? I know this is the last season will be done, so I don't care about the scouting anymore. Scouting is over as far as I'm concerned. We've got three straight wins, four straight wins. There's a loss to LA. But after all, we take five and one, guys. I am very happy with that start to the preseason. Teams must be salary cap compliant. That is fine. And amateur scout, we don't care. Waivers, that's fine by me as well. So guys, there we go. The preseason is wrapped up. The Oilers were better. They had one loss in overtime or shootout. So they were a little bit better than us. But you see here, lots of points across the board. Oliver ekman Larson led the way. Stefan Matteau actually had lots of points. But Sean Monahan, Emil Poirier, Johnny Gaudreau. Oh boy, this team is just going to light it up this year. So that is what we are facing going through the preseason. Let's get this first month of the season done and see where we end up. Our final game of the month will be against the Toronto Maple Leafs as we get a shootout loss to the Edmonton Oilers to start the year. And then against the Vancouver Canucks. Hey, counted a 4-1 win. Come on now against Nashville. Amateur Scout is calling. And a 6-1 big victory. Then a 2-1 or 3-1 loss, pardon me. And against Minnesota, this should be an easy win. There it is, 4-3. Come on against Colorado. We need a quick, big victory. Amateur Scout, get out of here. 4-2 loss, so 3-2-1. We're not doing well, but I'm sure we can get it done anyhow. 3-2-1. Overtime win. I'll take it. There we go. Against Pittsburgh. Come on. Another victory here would be real sweet. Four straight. Hey, hey. Against Pittsburgh, a big 6-1 victory. I told you the offense would be getting it done. Until this. Jorgen Jacobsen has been injured with a broken foot until December 18th, 2020. So you know what that means? Emile Poirier now makes his way up to the top line. Hunter Smith up to the third line. And guys, this is where it goes. Where we don't have a lot of cap space, so we got to make it work. Michael Winther, you're getting in there. Substituting all lines. That's what we're talking about. He is in that fourth position. And guys, this is the new lineup going forward, so we're going to stop and take a look at how the lines have performed so far. We are second in the division, 5-3-1 on the year, so we're doing all right. We're getting it done. And you see here, Sam Bennett's got six points, but it's Sean Monahan leading the way with nine so far this season. Marcus Granlin with seven. Oliver ekman Larson with seven. Bennett, Matteau, Jacobson had five, but now he's injured. He's a plus four on the year. Really, Stefan Matteau is really the only minus I'm seeing on this entire team who just appear to be plus players all over the place except for Curtis Lazar as well. So Curtis Lazar really not getting it done, I guess. Uh, maybe a little bit of a shakeup on that second, third, fourth line. Yeah, I think that's what we need to do is there's no player meetings to be had, which is good. So we need to shake up. 
bottom six, and I think by moving up Morgan Klimchuk to play with Hunter Smith, Stefan Mato, you've got a solid crash bang line, and then you've got Curtis Lazar, who should be able to get Michael Furland and Mike Winther going. Guys, I think that set of fourth line, pardon me why I, would, why I want to say second line, I'm not sure, that should get it done, so we should see how the results go. We'll go two weeks of hockey to be played, and then we should see some results right away. And a 4-1 win, that is results right out of the gate. And come on, right there, 6-3. Come on now, we need a, another victory. Uh, amateur scouts calling whatever. Oh, two straight losses, and players want to have a meeting. Okay. So we've got two players that want to have a meeting. No, it's just Michael Winther. I will bring my A game. I'm happy you're back again. Now let's move forward and keep going. Player had positive effect. That's what we're talking about. So that's solid enough. And come on now. Against Chicago, 4-1 loss. We cannot go on a losing streak. There we go. 7-6-1 on the season against LA. We lost ah, in a shootout. That's all right. We got points. All righty. Two more games on this week, and then we should be good to wrap it up. Come on now, shootout loss, okay, I'll take it. But that 4-1 loss, that hurts us. Gustav Nyquist injured until November 27th. Oh, that hurts us big time because we don't have another player to replace him. So we're going to have to put, uh, you know what, we'll put Stefan Mateau up there. Michael Winther up there. Yes, we'll put him up there. Curtis Lazar, I think you've earned the right to go back up, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, two goals, three assists, minus five. You definitely deserve to get back on that third line and get a chance. So, unfortunately, the way the roster shakes down, we have to get Wayne Hickey in there, substitute in all lines. He's going to have to play some forward for us. He's done it before. He'll do it again. I mean, we, this team can get it done. We know we can get it done. We just need to get it done. And 7-7-3, seven, seven, and three, that should have us, oh, not in a playoff spot at all. As you see, a victory would move us into a playoff spot, but we are hurting fellas right now as that little losing streak really cost us, and we are far behind the eight ball now. And you see Sam Bennett now leading the team in points. Sean Monahan's only had one since the last time we checked. This team's falling apart in the plus-minus department as well, so we need to get on a roll and get going. I think we need to hold a team meeting if we can. Uh, let's see here. Sim the next uh, game, yeah. Simulate day, so sim two next game. Simulate up to this day, yes. Let's go, there we go. And let's see here, can we hold a team meeting? No, we can't. No player meetings to be had. So we just got to go in and get the win here tonight and hope we can get this turned around. So one game at a time for this week. We need a victory here. Come on now, 4-2 victory. That's what we're talking about, 8-7-3 against Boston if we can get rolling two straight victories would be real nice and we're gonna walk away with a 5-1 win that's what we're talking about come on double digits halfway through November let's get it done against Philly 3-1 that seems to be the success formula there we go we are back in a playoff spot that is solid this team rolling now we need another victory come on we'll keep going one day at a time until we're at 10 minutes into this video Come on now, against Chicago, we're going to walk away with points, that's alright. We'll go two games at a time here since we lost. And against Dallas, what are we going to walk away with? A 3-1 win, there we go. Gustav Nyquist ready to return. This team ready to tear it up. Alright, so we need to get a meal, not a meal Poirier down. We need to get uh, Stefan Matteau back into his left wing position. Michael Winther back in there. How many points did Wayne Hickey have? He had a goal and four assists. Guy was on the fourth line and he just tore it up. That is insane. That's awesome for him. And Wayne Hickey get down up to the second line and take out for Gustav Nyquist. There we go. So obviously Wayne Hickey might be suited to be a forward. I don't know. That could be awesome if he could be. But, I mean, he has that low top six potential, so really we don't want him to be a forward, but maybe that's what we need. I don't know. So, Gustav Nyquist, how have you done? One goal, five assists, and Michael or Marcus Granlin, three goals, eight assists, so he's definitely done better. I suggest we make a change, and I will make a change, see if we can get rolling again here against Colorado. A 3-1 loss, so the change obviously did not work, and Mason McDonald has now been injured. So the injuries continue to roll in, go to roster moves, bring up goaltender, and then we'll be good to keep this sim going. Actually, you know what, guys? I'm going to cut it here. 
with Mason McDonald out, what do you think we got to do? This team, obviously, underachieving for what I thought at the start of the season. I want to hear your guys' feedback. And, I mean, this is the second last episode before MLB 16, the show launches. So tell me what you want to see in the show as well. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hey, guys. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of Yak City Gaming. If you're new to the channel, I suggest you check out these playlists to my right. I've got some awesome videos for you to browse through. And if not, guys, thank you for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.